talking about mental health in the workplace or even every day can be really hard, especially when we know that someone's struggling or we know that they're wearing the masks and aren't willing to talk about it. And as leaders in companies and as just general people in communities, trying to break the stigma is probably the hardest thing to do, but it's not impossible. And I know from personal experience how it feels to struggle and not being able to talk to anyone because I was perceived to having my stuff together and being really strong and having all the answers. But the fact of the matter is I didn't and anxiety ran quite high for me and I just kept pulling more layers on top um, to eventually, many years later, I ended up burning out and becoming a becoming clinically depressed. I was then put on medication, etc., etc., which is why I do what I do because now knowing what I now know, I know that there's no real reason for people to get bad or anywhere near as close to where I got. And that is my mission to, to help people to communicate and to break the stigma so people don't have to suffer and they don't have to suffer in silence. And as leaders, the way we communicate to people is completely different to who we're talking to. So, you know, if I look at being a mum, how I talk to my kids is I articulate what I'm going through, what I'm feeling, and why I'm feeling like that, and what I'm doing about it. So it's giving them the whole process, because I know that they're observing me. I know that even if I don't tell them, they know that something's going on for me. So for them to understand and for them to be okay with talking about how they're feeling and know what to do with that, because that is another subject altogether, is so powerful for them as humans going into society and contributing as people within communities themselves. And as a leader, I spent 20 years in the building industry and how I would talk to people in the office and how I would articulate it and what I would give examples for would be completely different to how I would talk to the guys out on site. The last thing I would be doing would be going out on site and talking about mental health and about um, stress and, and throwing all these words that they're uncomfortable hearing down their throat. And they're not used to hearing words like well-being, but then it's too fluffy. It's like, I've got stuff to do. I don't have time for this. Why is it? Why am I here? because you're going to be on my back telling me that the job's not where it needs to be. So, you know, you've got to understand the demographic you're talking to and how to make it contextual to them. Like, what is it that you want to help them with and how can you contextualise it so they can position themselves in that scenario and know that it's relevant to them? And then how I would do that in the office, again, would be different to how I would do it to the operational staff to how I would do it to the managerial staff because the contextual how stress, how mental health, how it affects them is different. Yes, we can give examples about how we go home and how we're stressed and we just feel like just hiding out somewhere and just getting that 10 minutes of break that everyone can resonate to when we're feeling highly stressed and, and under the pump. However, if I start talking about you know, booms going over and, you know, a high, a high possibility of, of hiding um, things that you didn't do that you should have done or mistakes um, and going through a process where I know that stress, if you, are at a high, if you are experiencing high stress and knowing what it does in the body and how that's affecting that situation and playing that situation out as the two, as highly stressed and okay, they can then see the outcomes and they can position themselves in both scenarios. Whereas if I talk to the same guys in the C-suite around a boom going over and what happens out on site, there's that bit of disconnect. Whereas if I start talking to them about how they feel 
um, and, and how it shows up in their day and, you know, where we feel that, you know, we've got to put on a brave space and show that everyone's okay and that we're okay and have that enthusiasm and that positivity when all we want to do is just scream and, you know, just someone to, to put their hand on my back and say, everything's going to be okay. So it's got to be contextual. Whoever you're talking to about mental health, if you are truly dedicated in making a change in people's lives, in your company's life, in your team's life, then make it contextual. Look at how things show up. Don't just talk about stress as a big banner. How does stress affect people? What does that actually look like? How is that playing out in their life? You know, um, if, they're, if you're talking about depression, yes, we have Dr. Google. But the problem is, is that especially with the men that I deal with and talk to, they look at Dr. Google and they have done for months, if not years. But the problem is, is that they don't know how to apply it. So there's no consistency. There's no one to ask questions. And they're in that little bubble of then going back to where they were and then it compounding and getting worse. So look at what meetings you have. Look at what discussions you currently have. And look at how can you bring mental health into those discussions in a contextual way to the audience you are talking to. Now, if you've got any questions or you would like to brainstorm what this could look like within your company, your team, your business, your family, whatever that looks like, feel free to send me a message, send me an email. I'm more than happy to help and to get you on the way to starting to break that stigma and to start getting people to having more fulfilled and happy lives. So if I can help you do that, feel free to reach out. Until next time, take care.